In this video, we're going to take a look at Kruskal's algorithm for creating a minimum spanning tree. So for Kruskal's algorithm, we're going to begin by choosing the edge with the smallest weight. So as you can see on our graph, we actually have four edges that are of length one or weight one. So you can choose any one of those. And what we're going to do is continue to add edges with the smallest weight that don't form a circuit. So when we did this with prim, we were tied to having to have one vertex that we've already visited connecting to a vertex that we have not. In this case, uh, we are not bound by that. So for instance, if I want to choose BC, because it's a weight of one, I can do that. And then if I also want to choose AD because it's a weight of one, I can do that. And I'm going to continue to do this until I've reached all of the vertices. So for instance, here to get to E, I'm going to use one. And I'm also going to use this one. So we can see that I've now connected all of the vertices and I have the least weight because I've chosen all of the vertices with the least weight. So then my spanning tree, my minimum spanning tree would go from A to D, from D to C, from C to both E and B, and each weight is one, so I have a total weight of four. So looking at our first practice together, again, I created a table for you, and that's mostly for my benefit so that I can see your choices, uh, but it also helps you just to stay organized as you're working through the algorithm. So I'm going to start uh, by choosing the cheapest weight. Again, I haven't been asked to start at a specific um, vertex because with Kruskal's algorithm, you're really just going for the cheapest weight first. So my edge here would be DE with a cost of one. Then I'm looking at all of the other costs on my graph, and we can see I have quite a few twos, so choose a two. It doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm going to choose DZ with a cost of two. So DZ cost of two. I have some other twos. I'm going to choose AB with a cost of two. And Again, I still have another two, and the only thing I have to worry about is does it create a circuit, and it doesn't, so I'm going to choose it. So I'm going to choose BE with a cost of two. So again, I'm really just choosing the cheapest cost each and every time. Now, I do have some more values on the graph I haven't used yet, but the only vertex I haven't yet visited is C. So really, I'm just looking at the cheapest weight to get to C, which in this case would be three. So now I'm going to add AC, and that cost is three. So again, if I am adding up the total, one plus two plus two plus two plus three is 10. That's the same weight that we got when we created this with, with prim. And creating that minimum spanning tree, I would just start with A. A branches off into both B and C. B branches off just down into E, and E to D, and D to Z. Again, adding those weights, A to B is two, A to C is three, B to E is two, E to D is one, and D to Z is two. So again, I've got a total weight of 10, and there is my minimum spanning tree. And again, you'll notice it's the same tree that we created using Prim's algorithm. Here's a practice for you to do on your own. So if you would press pause, try this question. When you're done, press play to see how you did. So again, my first choice would be whatever the cheapest method is, which in this case would be three. So I'm going to add DC, which is three. From here, I'm going to add a four. So there are obviously two fours. I'm going to choose whichever one I want, which for me is DG with a cost of four. And then I'm going to also add DE with a cost of four. Now looking at the values on my graph, I do have a six here, but as you can see, this six isn't going to work because G and C are already um, part of my minimum spanning tree. So I am going to choose instead 
this 6, which is e to b with a cost of 6. Um, 7 seems to be the next lowest number, but again, 7 is not going to work because d and b are both part of my graph already. Continuing up the ladder, I've got 10, so I'm going to use EF, which is 10. And then I'm looking for any way to get to A, because A is the only vertex I have not yet visited. And so the cheapest way there is 12. So that's AF with a cost of 12. Again, adding that up, 22, 28, 32, 36, 39. So total cost of 39, and again, if I were to create my tree, you'd think I would have learned from the last video that I should give myself a little more room, but I didn't. So A to F, F to E, E branches off into B and D. B, oops, I did that wrong. I'm going to let D come straight down a little bit more to make it easier to add the rest. D branches off into C and G. And then again, I would add those weights in um, to make my minimum spanning tree. So A to F is 12, F to E is 10, E to D is 4, E to B is 6, D to C is 3 and d to g is 4. Oops. 3 and 4. So again total of 39 that was the same thing that we found using prim. That's all I have for you for discrete math 2 combinatorics so up next at least for my students is abstract algebra.